What's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about the whole NFL protesting, what's going on with why people are taking these, um, what's the whole main base around it, why people are doing it, and what started the whole thing. So I'm here on CNN looking at highlights um, and comments and reports. And Donald Trump is a huge, he's playing a huge role in this. He's, um, he's been saying that people who don't take a knee, I mean, people who do take a knee aren't, aren't un American and um, they're doing wrong. And he wants to uh, eject, fire people from the NFL who take knees. So there were a lot of games that went on this weekend. Uh, Dallas Cowboys played the. I think it was the. No. The Redskins and the Raiders played to, uh, this weekend. Um, the Packers and the Bengals played. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. The Seattle Seahawks and the Tennessee Titans played. Um. And I think a big one was the was the um, was the Cowboys. So here's what happened. Reporters say um, rather than taking a knee, most NFL players opted for a show of unity Sunday, locking arms ahead of their game. Okay, just a minute. Let me, let me get this assignment. Under criticism from President Trump, who slammed players opting to protest during the national anthem. So basically, what happened that started this whole thing was with Colin Kaepernick taking a knee during the national anthem to um, raise awareness for Black Lives Matter was how the whole thing started. And it's made a big impact in 2017 season. Um, and Sunday morning tweets, Trump renewed his criticism of the protesters slamming the league's ratings and saying players should be fired or suspended for such protests. On Saturday, he called for NFL owners to fire any S O B who disrespects our flag. So you can just tell that Donald Trump isn't having it. Um, he wants it. He wants people to do it his way and um, stand for the national anthem. And most teams they locked arms in unity. But there were some who were still kneeling during the game, uh, during pregame. So following Sunday's 1 p.m. kickoffs, Trump tweeted that he approved of players locking arms, saying it represented great solid, solid, solidarity for the country. Here's who's been taking a stand on Sunday. Washington Redskins that we've already talked about. The Bengals, the Packers, the Chiefs and the Chargers, the Seahawks and the Titans, the Browns and the Colts, the Saints and the Panthers, the Broncos and the Bills. Now here is the uh, five-time Pro Bowl selection. Von Miller was among several players who knelt while Garrett Bowles and Virgil Green stood with their fists in the air. Multiple Buffalo Bills players stood with their arms around each other while some players knelt with with their arms interlocked. So basically, Donald Trump is not making this any better. He, um, oh wow, look at this guy. The New England Patriots 